again just having an argument with myself about whether I wanted to do this or not of course I want to do it but can't I sleep in <laughs> and uh, still capture sunrise I could I want to take it from my backyard or front yard. Have my neighborhood in the mix. There's nothing inspiring about that for me as a photographer. And so here we go. And I'm glad that you could join me this morning. It's about 5 a.m. now, and I'm just heading out to the mountains to hopefully capture sunrise in the forest. And uh, heading up to not Big Bear Lakes, but I'm gonna head out in that vicinity and see what type of compositions I might be able to find before the sun rises. It's uh, 33 degrees right now according to my SUV. I want to thank you for joining me in this week's episode of Jason Stewart Photography. This week I'm out in the San Bernardino National Forest and it's really more of a spy mission. I'm trying to spy out the land and really work on a few different compositions uh, for some future episodes that I want to do up here with landscape photography and nature photography. But today I thought I'd let you come along and see what I do to uh, uh, really spy out the land and um, plan for successful photography. Today I, um, I've been taking a few photos already of the, uh, the mountain range that you see behind us over there. When the uh, sun came up over the horizon, I got here a little late, so I had to kind of rush and I didn't have time to set up my video. But uh, I, that is the composition I've been working on. I really like how the sunlight comes across on 
those mountain peaks. It's just really beautiful. And right now I am using a composition to where, actually let me bring this over here. I don't know if you can see it or not. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah. So that big tree right there <laughs> is part of my composition. It's what I'm using as a framing device on the right side. And I'm using this pine tree over here as uh, another framing device. And as you see, the mountain range uh, out in the horizon is what I'm capturing right now. And unfortunately, my video camera is not really adjusting well to the light. It's underexposing the foreground, making the tree and the colorful bushes in the foreground look dark. And it's overexposing the mountain range in the sky, causing it to lose a lot of beautiful detail in the highlights. That's what you call being blown out. However, even now, I want you to see how beautiful and how colorful this location actually is. And as I do, I also want to share with you the main things that I'm thinking about when I set up for this particular landscape shot. So let's look at what I'm seeing through my camera with correct exposure. The first thing I do is I'm looking for a composition, of course. Where is the light coming from? Well, in this particular image, the light is coming from the left side. And as you can see, the shadows on the mountain peaks are dropping off to the right side. It looks gorgeous. And there's still some warmth in the colors, as you can see. But there are plenty of peaks and valleys in this image, and it makes for a very strong composition. Plus, I have a hunch that this could be an exceptional sunset location as well. And I may come back one evening to find out. But as we continue studying this image and how I set it up, I want to share with you what I am focusing on, what's going on in my mind. And the first thing I'm doing is I'm looking for elements that I can use to create better visual weight. Now, what is visual weight? Visual weight is also known as balance, and it helps add a powerful dynamic to your images. Without elements placed in the foreground, such as the beautiful tree on the right, as well as the beautiful pinkish purple uh, bushes and flowers uh, that are right above the snow line, and also the uh, green pine tree that is to the left, without those in the foreground, this landscape image would be nothing more than a background image and it would be quite boring to look at it. We'd look at it and then we would just kind of pass by, uh, not giving it a second look. But because of all of the different visual elements in the foreground of this image, it really causes the eyes to want to study all that is taking place within it. And in addition to having uh, different elements create visual weight, you can also see that with the tree on the right, as well as the pink bushes and the white snow on the bottom and then the pine tree uh, that's sticking up to the left you can see that i've created a framing device as well that really helps draw our attention out to the beautiful landscape that we are looking at Also, something that's important for you to remember when you go out to take pictures is you want to bring spare batteries. Um, I have some charged up batteries here fortunately because um, the battery that I have in my camera right now has already died and, and that isn't so much because of the cold air, although the cold will drain your battery quickly. Uh, I knew I had a lot of charged batteries and so I didn't worry about charging this one last night. But uh, my goodness, what a wasted trip if I did not have my spare batteries with me. And so you need to remember when you're out in the snow and you're out in the cold air, uh, your batteries are going to die quick. So let's get 
One more shot here, and then we're gonna move on to a new location. All right, it's time to head out. that we chose it takes time to get it right sleepless days and nights we just need a little more just a little time for you and i so stay Cause when it's good, it's great So we can't see we're fading away So this hope is that we stay close But it's the life that we chose It takes time to get it right Sleepless days and nights We just need a little more Just a little time Well, I just finished up shooting at our second location of the day. And again, uh, today is a day where I'm just scouting out the land. Uh, I'm looking for different compositions that I can take advantage of and capture some nice images uh, right at sunrise. I haven't found that spot yet because what I'm looking for is a place where I'm either low on the valley bottom and there's a lot of uh, room to photograph the peaks and the trees and, and, and capture a good element. Uh, part of the problem, especially today coming up, part of the problem that I had was that you're just so engulfed with these trees and when you're driving you can't, you, you need open space uh, to capture um, epic landscape scenes and so today I, I again our first location yeah, it will not be an epic landscape shot for me but hopefully uh, when when we get home and I do some post processing hopefully those images turned out nice but again today is a scouting trip and uh, this snow is probably going to melt even though right now it's about 20 degrees out here um, this snow is probably going to melt. So what I'm looking for here is a location uh, for one just to come back up even after the snow has melted and we've got the nice greens and fall colors when they come in. But also I want to find a spot that will uh, just look epic when uh, the snow falls again uh, once winter gets here. Uh, but we're in the second location. Oh, one other thing I wanted to say. Uh, we are looking for different compositions and a composition doesn't have a, to be a big grand uh, landscape. There's beauty all around in nature. But I share that to say last week's episode I did on the rule of balance or asymmetrical balance. And so what I'm trying to focus on as I'm looking at different compositions is just asymmetrical balance. And so uh, and also um, symmetrical balance if I find any. At this second location, I'm gonna show you how I set up for the first shot, where what I was trying to do is the sun had just come up over the peak. Again, the sun has been uh, up for quite some time now, so I didn't get all the beautiful colors I was hoping for, and they were beautiful. Again, I was trapped down in an area where I just couldn't find an opening this morning, but gosh, there were so many beautiful colors this morning.
but I uh, again I'm looking uh, for different compositions so I want to show you how I set up and so in this first composition here at location number two I am trying to capture this uh, the Sun coming through the tree because if you Capture it just correctly, you're going to create a sunburst, which always looks beautiful, especially in nature uh, photography. Uh, but the way that I am setting up this composition is I have the tree uh, is kind of the main focal point, and at the bottom of the tree there is this dry patch of ground surrounded by the snow, and it just makes an interesting uh, composition to me. Uh, it adds visual weight where, again, I've got the tree on the left side of the image and over here at the top right I've got uh, the sun uh, coming through the trees and there's just a nice visual weight so I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how this image turns out when we get it home and do some post-processing. What I want to show you now is another composition I found. I'm still at location two, and I'm really up close to these berries. And there's just the, this nice effect with the tree in the background. And so let's see how this turns out right now. Let me share my camera settings with you right now. As you can see, I have it in manual mode. My shutter speed is at 1 30th of a second and my aperture is at f14. My ISO is 100. And if you remember at the first location we were at, I mentioned that it's always important to bring spare batteries. And here you can see that my second battery is running low again. But what I want to show you next is how I make sure my camera and tripod are level. What I do is I press the info button in order to display this electronic level which appears on my LCD monitor. Once the red line turns green it indicates that the camera is level. Then what I do is I put it back in live mode and what I'm trying to do is to take a photograph of these berries that are hanging off the tree branch. Let me lighten the screen a bit so that you can have a better look at what I'm doing. Okay, that's better. So I'm trying to capture an image of these berries here. And as you can see in the background, there is white snow that looks beautiful. We also have the tree and other foliage over here that is blurred. And because it is blurred, all of our attention is on the berries here. However, because of the background is so colorful, it adds a nice balance to the image and creates what is called, again, visual weight. So let's take a picture and see how it looks. So as you can see, there is a nice balance to this image. It has a real Christmas feel, if you ask me. You've got the berries, which are the main subject, and they are in focus and look really nice. And then you've got, again, the trees and the foliage in the background that are out of focus, and yet they just add a nice visual weight to this image. It really makes the image work well. Okay, the next thing I do is I zoom in really tight on the image in order to make sure it's in focus. 
because the last thing I want to have happen for me is to get home and realize that my image is out of focus. Hopefully you've been able to see that uh, you don't always have to take epic landscapes uh, to uh, find good composition. That's what photography is all about, about composition. And um, this location here, which is our second location for the day, uh, I've found at least three different unique composition. Now, I was hand holding my 5DSR uh, for one of them. So I I'm hoping that it turned out uh, interesting. I think I got an interest, interesting shot of the tree, um, but I'm not sure. I want to make sure it's in focus. But let's go ahead and find a new spot and look for some more compositional elements that we can photograph here. I've got my wide angle, my 16 to 35 millimeter lens on, and I'm trying to capture it where I'm looking up high, and at the same time, because it's a wide angle lens, I should be able to get the sun to come through with the sunburst. So let's see how this turns out. Not quite sure, but it should be cool. It is just so beautiful out right now that the cloud formation is just gorgeous and um, just able to take some really great images because of that. Um, they're not showing up on my T6i so much when I'm videotaping, but I can tell that my GoPro is picking up all of the colors really nicely. And I'm going to stop right here and take a couple of shots now because I actually see a couple of compositions that I want to explore real quickly. In this image, you can see that there's a beautiful contrast between the brush and the trees and the beautiful clouds above. Just, just gorgeous out here. This is why I actually pulled over. I noticed the clouds behind the trees as well as the lighting. And even though we're past the golden hour, the lighting is really nice this morning. There's just a beautiful simplicity to this image that really appeals to me.
my uh, next composition. May have something here. I, I like the way this tree is looking. It's very, very moody, I guess I would say right now. This is a moody tree. I feel like this is a good composition. Oh yeah, that's kind of cool. That's gonna wrap it up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and load up my gear. I'm not sure if I am going to uh, stop again or not. Just wanted you to see that um, just by spending a little bit of time, just by spending time in nature, studying your surroundings, you can, you can find some nice composition. And hopefully, hopefully when we get back, I'm hoping that we're gonna see that I captured a, maybe a few nice images.
you're out in nature, you can find really good compositions in the big and grand stuff, like landscapes, epic landscapes, as well as in the very small, minute stuff, like even berries on a tree. And, uh, so, as you go out to, uh, work on that, make sure you're thinking about visual weight. And the visual weight is a new, um, idea for you balance visual weight um, please be sure to check out my YouTube episode from last week on the rule of balance with that being said I guess it's time for me to say goodbye I'm heading out of the snow now and so um, thank you for joining me this week again and um, hope you have a great week I'll see you next Sunday